So you might want to get an iTunes account, but you don't want to put in a credit card or debit card. You've got some gift vouchers or you're just getting some free items like free apps. And it could be that you're just maybe too young to have a credit card or debit card. So what I'm going to do is show you how you can do this. You can't just go and set up an account by just going into sign in and create Apple ID. That doesn't work. You also can't do this if you've already got an Apple ID, so you might need a new one. And an Apple ID does not have to be an Apple account like a me.com. So it could actually be Gmail or something else. So I'm just going to click on cancel. One important thing is to make sure you're in the right store and there are different stores for different countries. And to do that, you can just scroll all the way down here to the bottom. You'll see I'm on the UK site. If you click here, you can choose the appropriate country. So if it was the United States, you could choose it here. And you can see all the countries that have got iTunes accounts, so iTunes store that have got content there. And strictly speaking, you're meant to actually get an account within your country. So I'm just going to go back to Europe here and I'm just going to choose United Kingdom again. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the App Store and find myself a free app because that's how this works. And there are other free items as well. So I'm just going to click on the App Store, but this is the easiest place to find one. And you can see that there are a whole load here that are free. You can just look through and find one. Pick any one. This one looks like it might be fun. Mr. Potato Head. So I'm just going to click on that. And I'm going to click on free over on the left hand side here as if I'm going to purchase it. And the problem is I don't have an Apple ID or password. So I'm just going to go into create Apple ID. And this is where you need a different account. As I said, you can't use one that you've used before. So here we go. It's offering me, it's telling me that I'm going to begin doing this. I'm going to click on continue where it's going to take me on to the next screen and it's going to give me the terms. You can read through all of this if you want or like most people you just tick I have read and agreed to these terms and conditions. You could print it out here. I'm just going to click on agree down here and it will take me to the next screen. So I need to put in an email address here and I'm just going to put in one that I already have and a password, some security information such as what is the name of my best friend as a teenager, first pet and so on and just fill in these here and also put in an optional rescue email so if you forget your details and you've got an email that you use all the time that you're unlikely to forget then you can do that. I'm just going to put in my details here obviously I don't want you to see all this information so I'm going to quickly do that and jump to the next screen for you. Okay so now that I'm on the next screen here you'll see that you've got these payment methods. Now, if I hadn't have chosen a free app and had just gone to create an Apple ID without going to buy anything, I wouldn't have this option here for none. And that is the one that I want. If you have a gift certificate, you can enter the code in here now, but you can always do that later. So you could have different options here depending on the country, but there's Visa, MasterCard, American Express. I'm just going to click on none just to make sure that that is there. And I'm just going to go down here and fill in the billing address. Now I'm just going to fill that in and then I'm going to click on create Apple ID. So I'm just going to fill in my address and I'll see you on the next screen. Okay, so you're going to be sent a verification email. I'm just quickly going to go on my iPad and just go to that email that I'm going to get where it says verify. I'm going to choose that and then it wants me to sign in to my Apple account. Which I've done and now I am ready to go. So if I click on OK, I'll be allowed into the account and now I can start using it. So I can just simply sign in here and when I sign in I will then be able to start buying things. I could get gift cards and use those or I can get any free apps and sometimes there are free TV shows and other things as well. Books can be free too. So things such as Sherlock Holmes by Arthur Conan Doyle. A lot of books are now out of copyright, particularly old classics like Charles Dickens, and you can download those for free. So you don't actually now need a credit card or debit card to go and use the iTunes store.
So you could be using this if you've got children and you don't want them to have access to credit cards and just to keep purchasing. So this is a really good way of actually doing it. So that's how you can get an iTunes account without having a payment method other than gift certificates.